I first met the Babayeva family when I was wading through a foot deep of snow in David Lamb Park. I was talking to people about Vancouver's first big snow day this season. We are happy every day on small things like this, like winter, like snowballs, like snowmen and everything. They told me about how this was their first Canadian snowman. They'd come to Canada about six months earlier as refugees from the Ukraine. About a month later, they invited me to their apartment to hear more about their story. Did you find those photos we were looking for? Okay, it's our home and our okay. view. We it's definitely view. loved it. It's like 20 kilometers to Russian border. Yeah, from here. Like from here, right, in this direction. The view from... This is our balcony view our now. Balcony. The shattered window glass and debris in these images shows just how close Russian bombs came to hitting their home. Up to 15 uh, missiles every day. Every day at 10 p.m. And it was normal. It was reality. We live there. I wanted to know what life was like before the war started for Angelina, Dima, and their daughter, Masha. Our life was happy. Uh, we were happy. We were active. We had a job to do. We liked our job, right? Uh, Masha had her... A school and friends. We had a lot of friends like in Kharkiv and in Ukraine and overseas. Like normal school days, I was hanging out with my friends and all of this stuff. But like when the war started, I just couldn't believe that I had this, li I had this life before. It immediately divided our lives into two parts, like after and before. We were those people who didn't believe it could ever happen. But when we saw that it was not a firework um, loud, it was a real attack. So it was awful. And we decided that we have pretty much um, high floor. <laughs> and it couldn't be, could be uh, unsafe to stay there. They were unable to leave the city because of a fuel shortage. They went to stay with Dima's mother in a building close by. Uh, as far as I remember, on 27th of February, um, they, uh, they just came to our city on tanks, and they had their tanks uh, in our uh, district, a city district. And we understood that we could go nowhere. We tried to sleep like together. Yeah. Uh, because it was much safer. Because if uh, the roof, for example, will be destroyed, at least we can be together and like we weren't being near the windows. We didn't um, change our clothes, for example. We just uh, continue live uh, like it was. And one more thing I remember, by the way, that we didn't know what um, uh, what kind of weekday it mm -hmm. is today. Everyone just counted like, oh, today is the second day of the war. But the most curious to me, when the planes started flying like above our heads, and I knew that they could basically just drop a bomb or a rocket on our house. I really tried to support my parents. After 10 days at their mother's, the family was evacuated to a small village in Ukraine about four hours away. But leaving wasn't so easy. We had a kind of special card, right? A special map, sorry, yeah. uh, from our friends. Do you remember that? Nobody knows uh, the safe way to leave the city. Mm -hmm. Like, because it uh, changes day to day. And we received a map from our friends. Uh, people were on the roofs and asked another people, uh, who are you? Are you Russians? Are you Ukrainian? Tell yeah. me something that you are Ukrainian. It was or a chaos. Fire. It was a chaos. Dima decided to return to Kharkiv, thinking it would be over soon. Because it's our form and we believe that it ends in a few months. But the rest of the family went to Germany, where they believed it would be safer. They stayed for four months and then rejoined Dima in Kharkiv. They tried to resume a normal life, but still found it difficult to feel safe in their city. I used to play volleyball outside with my friends, like, you know, at the school. Even uh, when I heard all of this, like, attacks, bombs, we were just like, oh, okay, let's just, let's just wait for, like, five minutes maybe. And then we just came back and play again. If you come back 
at home and start hiding every minute, every hour. You can't focus on your work. You can't focus on your family. You can't focus on your life at all. You just stop living. We decided to pick up all the documents and to get our visas. They applied to come to Canada under the Canada-Ukraine Authorization for Emergency Travel program. Getting documents took more than a year, but in summer 2023, they set off for Vancouver. We decided to just to take the most necessary things, like I can even share with you. So this card is for me, like for beloved mother, <laughs> yeah, for mommy. Yeah with the best wishes for every day. My mom was really sad, so I make her this card, like, it says smile, and okay. it has a smile face here. And it actually works, too. Yeah. Despite any challenges and uh, any bumps and, uh, you know, anything around us, just uh, because here we are, you know, we have Masha, we have each other, we have Teddy, our anti-stress anti yeah, boy. We're so happy that we can uh, be with Teddy in Germany because he's like our sunshine. Yeah. The family landed in Vancouver in August of 2023. When I first came to school here in Vancouver, I wasn't really used to it because I uh, didn't come to school for four years, I think. Four and a half. No, no, yeah. no three and a half. Like, yeah, it's okay. I think so. Because first, uh, it was COVID and then the war. So I just came to my school for the first time and I was just like, oh, so many students, so many real people in the same time. I was surprised and shocked a bit. And I think it took about uh, two weeks to get used to it. But now I'm really happy that I can come like in society and be together with my friends. They now live in an apartment in downtown Vancouver with a big patio view, just like the one in Kharkiv. Our favorite spot in the house is here because uh, it's a family spot, so to say. So it's our first peak with my husband where, when we met in Odessa uh, more than 15 years ago. And here you can see the warmest presence from our daughter as for the best mom and dad. So she made it when she was six or seven years old. And we took it with us to evacuation. So it's, it really warms up here. Yeah, deep inside.